so we are calling fun and we are passing the value as 5 and 1000 so 5 comma 1000 now integer t comma f there are two variables t and f this is the variable t this is the variable f if n is less than or equal to 1 what is the value of n 5 and 5 is not less than or equal to 1 then this condition is false then we are going to go to this one which is saying t is equal to fun of n minus 1 that is 4 comma fp that means 1000 so we cannot execute any statement after this until we execute the value of t until we find the value of t so again there is a recursive call here so again we have two variables t and f so this condition is false we will execute this one which says t is equal to fun of 3 comma 1000 again t and f t is equal to fun of 2 comma 1000 again we have t and f where t is equal to fun of 1 comma 1000 now when we got fun of 1 comma 1000 in that case star fp is equal to 1 because this condition is true star fp is equal to 1 that means this value will become 1 and we are going to return 1 so this one value is now stored in t and t is going to store 1 now for this function we will execute these statements now which is f and star fp the value of f is t plus star fp so the value of t is here i mean it uh, it this returned 1 so for this function we have f is equal to t plus star fp star fp is storing 1 and the value of t is 1 that is the value of f is 2 now if the value of f is 2 we have star fp is equal to t so this star fp that means this one will store the value of t which is equal to again 1 here star fp is equal to t and the value of t is 1 so it is again 1 then it is returning the value of f that means the value of f is 2 and that 2 is returned here so this t is going to store 2 now when the value of t is 2 here then it is going to execute these statements where f is equal to t plus star fp star fp is star fp is 1 so 1 plus 1 2 is 3 and then it is going to execute star fp is equal to t star fp is equal to t that means the value of t will be stored in f t is 2 so it is going to store 2 and then again return f so f value is 3 so 3 will be stored here that means this t is going to store 3 again for this t it is going to execute these three lines which is t is equal to star t plus star fp which is uh, 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 so this f is going to store 5 and then star fp is equal to t that means this is going to store 3 and then return f so value of f is 5 so it is going to return 5 here ok now again it will execute these three statements f is equal to t plus star fp star fp is 3 3 plus 5 is 8 then star fp is equal to t that means it will store 5 and then return f so value of f is 8 so this program is going to return the value which is 8 8 is the answer